It's okay means it's not okay. I understand means I don't understand. And don't worry about it. You know what that means? It means put your head between your legs and kiss your sorry ass goodbye. My life sucks. Oh, oh, boo-hoo, dude. I'll think of your suffering at your big fancy buffet as I go home to my trailer and watch my dad crack a 40 in a can of Fancy Feast. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen, Ted, I think I have a solution to your problem. Why don't you just have your dad buy a whole table at the dinner, okay? JC can take Nancy. I'll go. I'll take, uh... I guess Lisa. I don't know. That way, Nancy can keep a tab on you. It'll be a totally romantic night, right? Yeah. And then maybe Vitamin C and I will finally fall in love. Dude, what is your obsession with that girl? I don't want to hear it, okay? She has the voice of an angel. And the ass of an angel. Dude, one look at me in this tux, Lisa's gonna melt like butter on popcorn. You know that's not really butter, and it's already melted. <laughs> Whatever. All I know is if the tuxedo doesn't do the trick, this will. Uh, can I help you, uh, <coughs> gentlemen? Yeah. Yes, uh, my good man. Three of your finest and cheapest tuxes. Oh, and chop chop, the party starts in three hours. <laughs> That's impossible. Between the Save Our Wildlife Gala and the NRA banquet, all our tuxes have been rented out tonight. This is the last one left in town. I'll take it. it. No, I'll, I'll take it. I got it. No. I'll, I'll take it. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. Look, we'll just share the tux, OK? Fine, I get the pants. No, I mean, we'll timeshare. Rotate every 10 minutes. That might work. No, it won't. Forget it. Look, Zach, this is a black tie affair. Either we share the tux or we don't go. Come on, we can do it. We're buds. All for one and one for all. And hopefully one size fits all. Yeah! Shoot us up, Penguin Boy! Find a place out for my soul to hide. I'll take it anywhere. I'll make it anywhere. Gorgeous. God, I hope Zach gets here soon. Yeah, yeah, um, my healing has to stay with his sister until the auto club shows up to charge the babysitter's car, so that way she can drive to Zach's house and relieve him so uh, he can come to the party in his tuxedo. I know. That's exactly what you said when you picked me up. He should be here in, like, nine minutes and 14 seconds. <laughs> Where did his parents go, anyway? What? Um, they, they went to the, uh, NRA banquet, yeah. The National Rifle Association? I, I didn't know that Zach's parents were gun lovers. No, not that NRA. Um, this is the, the National Rodeo Association. Yeah, you see, Zach's dad used to, be, used to be a rodeo clown before he became an uh, obstetrician. Oh. Oh. Hi, Ted. Hi, honey. Listen, it's fine that Nancy's here. But as far as Brooke is concerned, you are her date. Got it? Right. Oh, and not a word to her father about my liking to hunt. Uh, down those bloodthirsty that would hurt our precious wildlife. You know, I, I really appreciate uh, Ted escorting Brooke here tonight. If all goes well, I see a merger in our future. Maybe two. Dance with the girl. <laughs> hey, sure. Yeah. Why do you have that? Have you seen the buffets in there? If I can fill this puppy up, me and my dad can live off it for a week. Okay. All right, JC's got three minutes left. Time to get ready. Ooh. Yeah. What are you doing? Getting ready. I'm next. No, you're not. I'm next. Listen, I gotta get in there. Lisa's waiting for me. I gotta get in there. They're serving crab cakes. So, besides, we decided that I would be second. No, we didn't. We never decided that. That was before we let JC go first. You were always after me. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Nuh-uh. Hey, Vitamin. Ready for a sound check? Thanks for bringing me, JC. You know, if I can't be with Ted, then I'm really good. JC? JC? Excuse me. Whoa. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi to Vitamin C over there. Hi, Vitamin. It's JC. Hey. I'm your biggest fan. I wrote you that letter that one time. Right. That narrows it down. God. Hey, Taras. Taras. He's OK. He's harmless. I am. Totally. Look, I'm sure you're asked this a lot, but uh, will you marry me? Think about it, because you're vitamin C. I'm JC. You wouldn't even have to change your last name. Well, last letter, actually. <laughs> OK. I'll think about it. Cool, I'll wait. Damn it. I got to go. How does paper beat rock? It does. OK, look, if there's a restaurant called The Paper, will he beat the rock? No. 
Hey, it took you long enough. Hurry up to change. All right, turn around. Why? Because I'm not wearing any underwear. Oh, the boys are out on parole? Oh. Lisa, you will never know what I've done for you. Oops, I didn't bring a change. Can I borrow your pants? <sighs> Thanks, dude. Ooh. There you are. Hey. So the babysitter finally showed up? Yeah, she did. She did. The auto club was right on time, just like they said they'd be. They should probably just go ahead and call themselves triple A plus. I just can't believe that your parents went to an NRA dinner. Well, they were there to protest. Rodeo clowns? Yeah, because my mom hates them. Gives her nightmares. Then why did she marry your dad? I don't know. OK, so where is JC? He's supposed to be spending time with me. How do I put this delicately? Uh, he's got diarrhea. Yeah, he should be out of the bathroom in 17 minutes and 30 seconds. You should ask him about it. You guys know each other a little too well. You know, when my dad set this up, I figured you'd be some dorky loser. But you're pretty cute. Thanks. You're pretty friendly. Well, you clean up very well. Oh, why, thank you. <laughs> Amy and I have been friends for a long time. And tonight, I. Ugh. What's that beeping? That's the babysitter. I told her to just go ahead and page me if there's a problem at home. My sister, she probably drank from the goldfish bowl again. We think it's some kind of learning disability. Listen, I gotta go, but I'll, I'll be back.